EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for March 20th, 2023. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Uh, back to work now here on Monday, and uh, it was the last full day of winter yesterday, technically, and it sure felt like it with breezy conditions and some very cold temperatures, but uh, spring arrives today at 524 p.m. officially, so the first full day will be tomorrow, and it's going to feel every bit of spring uh, this week, so it's definitely going to play the part at least. Uh, heading into this upcoming week, and I'll discuss that here in the video and give you the week ahead outlook in a second. The Monday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kinsley's Family Market in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Lent, of course, began on Wednesday, February 22nd, and at a Kinsley's shop right, they have the freshest seafood for all of your Lenten meals. Every Friday at Kinsley's, you'll find their weekly fish fry. Items include teriyaki salmon, breaded flour breaded flounder filet and parmesan baked cod with of course all the fixings that go with that and don't forget your free easter ham spend four hundred dollars now through april 8th and you can qualify for a free smoked ham get it all at kinsley Shoprite, the world's largest shop right located at 107 kinsley's drive in broadheadsville monroe county pennsylvania proud sponsors of the monday video forecast so today and tomorrow both days mostly sunny and it's going to be pretty nice uh, considering uh, what we were yesterday. Again, it was a pretty chilly day yesterday uh, with, with uh, the wind not helping much uh, matters much. But there is a big, very broad and elongated high pressure that's going to be sitting kind of like right here. Uh, now, there's two high pressure centers here on this map here, but there's really, they're the same uh, same strength. So you just put a big H in front of that, and that's where your high pressure is, okay? So it's going to be, uh, because of that, mostly sunny skies. One of those days where you don't, you're going to struggle to find clouds in the skies. I try to match the picture behind me on the green screen to match what the weather's going to be that day. You might, this might be a little bit generous with the, the couple clouds that it's showing there. Uh, and the same thing here for Tuesday as we move ahead to Tuesday. It's the same thing. High pressure instead here on Tuesday is going to move a little bit further east, but it's still right here. Uh, big, again, big H right here. So that is going to uh, allow for mostly sunny days each of the next two days. And then once we get to Wednesday, skies are going to become mostly cloudy. And we have this system moving toward us. And I think you're going to be dealing with a lot more clouds and sun for the remainder of the forecast period until we get to Sunday. And on some of these days, we're looking at precipitation. I don't think we're dealing with it here on Wednesday, though. Late Wednesday night into part of Thursday... There's an opportunity for a few showers with this system moving off to our north. As you can see here, just a few light showers, though. This is not a, a lot of rain in this particular time frame, uh, which is uh, wet late Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and it might linger probably just Thursday morning. Uh, and then it remains mostly cloudy after that point. We have a few showers working through overnight Thursday night. And then we have another system coming in here on Friday. It's going to have a warm front with it initially. Uh, placement of this is a little and off right now. We're going to narrow this down to get a little bit closer, but this has potential to give you a little bit more than just a few showers on Friday and Friday night. And then Saturday, it looks like is going to be a showery day with this uh, area low pressure moving just south of the region. And uh, that could give you a pretty steady bout of showers here on Saturday. So one of the two weekend days don't look too good right now. That would be Saturday. Once we get to Sunday in its wake, uh, the skies turn uh, partly cloudy and uh, still mild, though. We're going to have temperatures 49 to 54 today, which is kind of near average from north to south. So it's not too far from average. Uh, some areas it's exactly what average is supposed to be. Uh, when we get to Tuesday, they're going to warm up, and some areas are going to get into the 60s even for our southern areas. So it's going to um, warm up considerably. And then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, generally 60s that you're dealing with, uh, maybe lower 60s, but 60s nevertheless. Uh, both uh, Wednesday and Thursday of this week, despite the clouds, despite the showers that are going to be around. Uh, just a synoptically driven warm sector type thing we're dealing with, that warm front moving through Wednesday night to Thursday morning. So the opposite side of that Thursday will keep us with uh, the mild conditions. Uh, there is a chance we slightly step back at the end of the week, but again, it's going to depend on this uh, frontal boundary. If this remains off to the south like shown here on Friday, we might be a little bit cooler. When I say cooler, you're going back into the 50s, so it's still mild it's they're seasonally mild at least it's not like it's going to be cold or anything and then uh same thing here with saturday with this uh, these showers moving through again might be a little bit cooler might be near average instead of uh, a warmer warmer day but as soon as this moves through we go back to sunday we're right back to at least slightly above average for for sunday with partly cloudy sky so we'll, look, we'll follow that end of the week system in more detail in the week ahead again we have more details it'll be a little bit closer right now just to expect some showers beginning as late as or as early as late Wednesday night 
uh, a little bit into Thursday morning, then some more Thursday night, and then another shot here Friday and Saturday of this upcoming week. I'm APA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for March 20th, 2023. Have a great Monday.